Well, good morning. Thank you for being here today. Uh, we uh, brought together this press conference to make the following announcement, and that is today Kansas is filing uh, a civil suit against the Pfizer Corporation under the Kansas Consumer Protection Act, seeking enhanced civil monetary penalties, damages, and injunctive relief for misleading and deceptive statements made in marketing its COVID-19 vaccine. Pfizer also violated uh, previous consent judgments with the state of Kansas in which Pfizer promised never to use deceptive information to market their products. Kansas's case is the first of a multi-state collaboration with Kansas being the first of five states to file suit. Before I go further, let me put this in context. As we all know, during the COVID-19 pandemic, there was a great deal of panic and anxiety. Many people who were elderly or who suffered from various medical conditions had already died when the vaccines became available. And when that time came, when the vaccines became available, every one of us had to make two decisions. Am I going to take the vaccine? And if so, which vaccine will I choose to take? And these decisions were being made in a hurry. In some ways, you could say even being made under duress. In such an environment, it is imperative that Kansans making that decision receive the truth. They needed the truth. All Americans needed the truth. And in multiple respects, Pfizer did not provide the truth. Much of the information uh, in this lawsuit came out as a result of a FOIA lawsuit seeking information from Pfizer that still had not been made public. And it was only a result of that effort that some of the in, in information in this lawsuit uh, is available. I urge everyone to read the 69-page complaint uh, that goes into great detail about the specific statements that were made and the misleading nature of those statements made to Kansas consumers. Uh, the following is a quick summary of, I think, some of the four most egregious examples of misleading the public in Kansas. Pfizer marketed its vaccine as safe for pregnant women. However, in February of 2021, Pfizer possessed reports for 458 pregnant women who received Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine during pregnancy. More than half of the pregnant women reported an, ad an adverse event, and more than 10% reported a miscarriage, many within days of the vaccination. Pfizer also possessed information from its own October 2020 study on pregnancy in rats indicating that its COVID-19 vaccine was likely linked to infertility, loss of litters, and stillborn offspring. Number two, safety relating to heart conditions like myocarditis. Fire, Pfizer consistently denied any evidence of a connection or safety signal between its COVID-19 vaccine and myocarditis or pericarditis. Indeed, on January 18th, 2023, when asked whether its vaccine caused strokes or myocarditis, Pfizer chairman and CEO Alan Burla stated, quote, we've not seen a, sig a single signal, although we have distributed billions of doses, end quote. A signal that he was referring to as a safety signal, which refers to a negative consequence. However, as Pfizer knew, the United States government, the United States military, foreign governments, and others had found that Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine caused myocarditis and pericarditis. Number three, effectiveness regarding variants. Pfizer also claimed that its COVID-19 vaccine protected against COVID-19 variants, even though data available at the time showed Pfizer's vaccine was effective less than half the time against variants. Finally, transmission. Pfizer urged Americans to get vaccinated in order to protect their loved ones, clearly indicating a claim that Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccination stopped transmission of COVID-19. Pfizer later admitted that it had never even studied transmission of it after its recipients received the vaccine and whether they could say it stopped transmission. After making these misleading statements, Pfizer also engaged uh, in some censorship attempts. Uh, emails reveal that Pfizer officials coordinated with social media platforms to censor any speech critical of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine safety and effectiveness. It should also be noted that Pfizer elected not to join the federal government's vaccine development program known as Operation Warp Speed and declined that development funding. When asked about that, Pfizer's CEO Albert Burla 
said Pfizer did not participation in the program in order to, quote, liberate, end quote, Pfizer's scientists and to avoid government oversight of its vaccine development. He also said, quote, they want reports. I don't want to have any of that, end quote. Referring to they, when he said they, he was referring to the federal government. Pfizer's misleading statements contributed to success in marketing its vaccine in Kansas. By February of 2024, Pfizer had delivered over 3.3 million doses of its vaccine in the state of Kansas. This, is, this accounted for over 60% of all vaccine doses given in the state of Kansas. This suit is being filed today, and as I mentioned before, uh, it is part of a multi-state effort in which more suits may follow depending on Pfizer's reaction.